Welcome to View Plus Web Clinic number two, about chart translation to Braille in MS Office Excel using Tiger Software Suite. This class will show essential settings in Tiger Profile to convert charts and graphs to Braille in MS Office Excel, editing capabilities after translation, and preview of output to View Plus embossers. This is a very simple data table about how 100% monthly operations expense will be split in rental cost, utilities, and wages. This is represented well in a pie chart. To create a pie chart from this data, simply select the table area and go to Excel Insert, Charts, and select Pie Chart. A chart area containing the chart from our table will appear on the current worksheet. You probably want to change the default chart title. I'm going to copy text from cell A1 into the chart title field. The chart area that was inserted by Excel is floating on the current worksheet. It can be grabbed and moved around. Now the most important step for Tiger Add-in to be able to translate this chart to Braille is to move the chart area to its own worksheet. Therefore, select the chart area and call the Excel Move Chart command either from the right mouse click context menu or from Excel Chart Tools Design Ribbon. Calling Move Chart will bring a dialog window on screen where you want to select to move the chart to a new sheet. Leave the default naming for the new sheet or change it to your desired custom name. Confirm with OK. Now a new worksheet was created containing the pie chart. You can switch between worksheets using the tabs at the bottom. Expense is the original worksheet containing the data table. Chart 1 is the new worksheet containing the pie chart. Now the chart can be translated to Braille using Tiger Add-in. You will find TSS translation commands within the Tiger Add-ins menu, which is very similar to the Tiger menu in Word. Before calling a command to translate the worksheets to Braille, make sure all formatter settings are adjusted according to user preference. Go to Formatter Settings within Tiger Menu and click on it. This will open up a dialog window. If you have worked with Tiger in MS Office Word before, you will notice that the dialog looks the same as in Word, but some options that do not apply in MS Excel are disabled and appear grayed out. Within the Formatter Settings dialog, all settings and options that are being applied with document translation are found behind buttons Language Settings and Document Settings. Select Language Settings and a new dialog appears. Choose the language you would like applied for text to Braille translation from the drop down list in Primary Language. English American is the default setting, which will be applied to this document. You can also choose a Braille type of your preference. Translation to Uncontracted Braille is chosen here. Other language translation options are available depending on availability for the selected primary language. Make sure primary translatable font is set to any. Refer to Web Clinic number one to learn about usage and consequences of changing this setting. Go back with OK. Now select Document Settings. At the top of this window, you need to choose the View Plus Embosser for which the document will be prepared. View Plus Mprint Spot Dot is chosen here. The printer driver of the embosser has to be installed first before the corresponding VP printer model appears in the list here. Choose options for page formatting like paper size, paper orientation, and margins. Available paper sizes will depend on the selected printer model above. The settings in this window show letter paper format in landscape orientation and half-inch margins all around for the resulting Braille document. Section Format in the lower part of this window offers options for the handling of headers and or footers when converting to Braille. Please refer to the written TSS user manual for a complete reference to all translation settings. Let's save and go back with OK. All settings and options behind the two buttons, Language Settings and Document Settings, are being applied with Document Translation. The entity of these settings and options can be saved under so-called Tiger Profiles. The buttons here below can be used to manage Tiger Profiles. 
Once a Tiger profile was saved under a certain name using the Save As button feature, it will appear in the list above to be selected as current Tiger profile. Multiple profiles can be saved, containing different sets of settings, and they can be recalled by selecting the corresponding name from the list. With OK, all changes will be saved to the current Tiger profile name, and current settings will be applied for any document to Braille translation in Excel until you come back to the Formatter Settings dialog and change something. Now we are ready to convert the document. Go to Tiger Menu and click on Translate Document Command. There will be a prompt asking whether to translate all worksheets. If selecting Yes, the Chart Sheet and Data Table Sheet are being translated, all sheets that contain data in this file. If selecting No, only the current selected worksheet will be converted to Braille version, which is the Chart Worksheet here. Select Yes to translate all. When document translation finished, TSS will have created two more sheets for every worksheet that was translated. The names will be like the original name with Braille and Ink added to it. In this file, we have the original Chart 1 worksheet plus Chart 1 Braille and Chart 1 Ink, and the original data table worksheet called Expense plus Expense Braille and Expense Ink. Independent on actual output capabilities of the selected VP printer, TSS will create both Braille and ink sheet every time when performing translation. The ink sheet matches the layout of the Braille sheet and will be overlaying the tactile output on the paper when printing with color additional to the embossed output. The VP Mprint Spot Dot as well as VP Elite or Premier with Ink Connect will create both Braille and color print in one pass printing. After translation, the file is still fully editable. If you notice some detail that is missing within the translated version of the original sheet, or errors within any text that needs to be corrected, it is possible to simply delete the Braille and ink sheet, make the change to the original sheet, and translate again. To show this, I will make changes to include labels to the pie pieces on the chart. Therefore, select both sheets to be deleted, Chart 1 Braille and Chart 1 Ink, and call command Delete from right mouse click context menu. Click Delete on the prompt. Then select the pie area on the worksheet Chart 1 and call Add Data Label from the right mouse click context menu. Call Translate Selection Command from Tiger Menu to translate to the current selected Chart 1 worksheet again. Now new Braille and ink sheets were created from Chart 1, showing data labels within the pie pieces. But Braille labels with a colored background will not have good readability by touch when embossed. I will fix this by showing another method of making changes post-translation. When it comes to layout changes, these are best done within the translated Braille sheet because this shows the actual size of the Braille text. When the changes are done to the Braille sheet, command Refresh Ink Sheet from Tiger Add-in menu can be called to adjust the ink sheet layout accordingly for combined Braille and ink output. For example, select the data labels and use Excel formatting options to define label position outside end. Additionally, I am going to change the legend position using Excel Chart Design Tools and show the legend at the top rather than below the chart. Now the layout of the ink sheet looks quite different from the Braille sheet layout. The output would not overlay exactly anymore when printing Braille and ink combined on one page. Therefore, when you do any layout changes like this within the Braille sheet, use Refresh Ink Sheet command from the Tiger add-in menu to adjust the ink sheet layout accordingly. The Braille sheet has to be currently selected when calling this command, and instantly the ink sheet will be adjusted to match the Braille sheet layout. The purpose of this function is to match both sheets for combined Braille and ink printing, which is possible with the View Plus Mprint Spot Dot or Elite and Premier embossers with added ink connect. Before I am showing how this file will be embossed and printed, 
there is one more feature on this that I would like to change, and this is regarding coloring of the pie chart. Coloring within the Braille sheet will have a direct influence on readability, or comprehensibility, of the tactile output. View Plus embossers will create tactile dots with different heights depending on the red, green, blue variables of the screen color. A red and blue tone might look very different for sighted users, but when converting those screen colors to tactile dot height level, they might yield the same dot height on tactile output. Therefore, make sure to use high contrasting colors, preferably even in a monochrome color scheme on the Braille sheet. This will give better results for tactile contrast on the output. When using Refresh Ink Sheet command, keep in mind that this also has to match coloring from the Braille sheet to corresponding ink sheet. If you would like to work with different color schemes on Braille and ink sheet to keep fancy coloring on the color print output, but use monochrome color on the Braille sheet to convert to better tactile output, it is recommended to make color adjustments to the Braille sheet at the end of the editing procedure and do not call Refresh Ink Sheet command any more afterwards. Let's print the pie chart example as is now to show results on the Emboss Print Data Preview and then come back and make changes to the coloring. A VP spot dot was set up on this system with the option Preview checked in the printer properties to show a print preview on screen. When calling the print command from Tiger Menu, you can choose what to print. The active sheet, a selection within one sheet, which is useful sometimes when working with bigger tables, or the entire workbook, meaning all sheets that contain data. Further, you select the print mode, emboss output only, ink output only, or two-in-one mode. Two-in-one is the print mode to combine Braille, emboss, and ink from two Excel sheets on one sheet of paper on printed output. If you want to print the active sheet only, but create combined print with Braille and ink using two-in-one mode, make sure to have both the Braille Sheet Plus and Ink Sheet selected before calling the print command from Tiger Menu. Otherwise, no print will be created. If selecting to print the entire workbook, current selections within the Excel file will be ignored and per default, all sheets that contain data will be printed in whatever print mode you choose. Let me step back and make selections to create a combined print from the chart, but exclude the expense data table from the output. Select the Braille sheet, hold down the Shift key, and also select the Ink sheet. Note the coloring of the Braille chart and what the tactile output will look like. Then, go to Tiger Print. The VP spot dot is selected. Select Active Sheets in Print What and 2-in-1 Print Mode. Click OK. And here is the print preview. The representation of the color output, as well as the representation of the emboss output, the preview shows thumbnail view where you can toggle between emboss and color data representation. Within the View menu, you can switch to Combine View to see how both will be printed combined on one paper. Turn off Combine View again. Within the view of the emboss output, the gray tones represent tactile dot heights. As darker the color, as higher the tactile dot, from dot height 1 through dot height 7. As you can see, the red, or rather orange color, as well as the blue color, are both represented with dot height 4 so no tactile contrast to differentiate between these two pie pieces. Let's go back to Excel and change coloring on the Braille sheet to enhance this outcome and print again. Select the chart on the Braille sheet, go to Excel Design Ribbon, and change colors to a monochrome gray scale. To enhance even further, I am selecting the single pie pieces within the chart and further change the fill colors using Shape Fill on right mouse click context menu. Making the darkest shade even darker and the lightest shade even lighter. Now print again. This time I am selecting entire workbook instead of active sheets in what to print to show the difference. Note that I didn't need a specific selection on my worksheets for this option. Click OK. And here is the print preview again. 
This time I received both the chart as well as the data table pages since I selected to print the entire workbook. I can navigate through the pages in Print Preview using the arrow icons here at the top. Notice the different tactile dot heights on the embossed data representation of the chart. Now all pie pieces will be identifiable for tactile readers. All facts and features demonstrated on this pie chart example are true for any Excel charts or graphs. To repeat most important steps, I have one more example to show you. This file contains a data table forming a sinus wave graph within X and Y coordinates. The graph was inserted and placed on the floating chart area automatically by Excel. Before this can be converted to Braille, it needs to be moved to a new worksheet. Call Excel Move Chart Command and select New Sheet to do so. Default naming of the new sheet is Chart 1. Now the graph can be translated to Braille using Translate Document Command from the Tiger add-in menu. I choose No on the prompt to not translate the rather big data table, but only on the currently selected Chart 1 worksheet. On the resulting Braille worksheet, I would format the x-axis to change label position to below so the braille labels don't interfere with the graph or grid lines. Further, I would make sure the grid lines are showing a very light gray color and a line weight of one or less. Additionally, I would change the actual graph to be drawn in a very dark color and a heavy line weight without markers for it to really stand out in a smooth heavy line on the tactile output. Now, I select both Chart 1 Braille and Chart 1 Ink Sheet and go to Tiger, Print, and select Active Sheets to be printed. And here is the preview when printing this graph to VPM Print Spot Dot Color Embosser. This will make a good representation of a sinus wave for any tactile reader. This concludes Web Clinic number 2. Thank you for your attention. Please refer to the ViewPlus website for more information.